What was his name? Edward Brenton de Villiers. When was he born? He was born in July 17, 1902. Where did he work? He worked at the GMO Railroad in Scopemobile in Ohio. How long did he work for the GMO Railroad? Uh, about 45 years. What about his job made him important? Well, he was the vice president of the railroad, so being vice president, he had to make sure that everybody underneath him was doing, were doing their job. What do you think made him choose to work here? Um, if I had to guess, that was back at the time of the Depression, and people had a hard time finding jobs back then, so I would guess that, that it, it, whatever job he could find, he was ready to take it. What was he like? In, in his, the work setting, then he was a very austere person. He, he wanted everything to be done exactly right, and he didn't take any uh, slacking or anybody wanted to just fool around. He didn't care for that too much, but with his family, he was a big teddy bear. He was, um, he was a thoughtful person. He was very sensitive about other people's feelings, and um, he was a good, good grandfather. Where did he grow up? He, he was actually born in Toronto, Canada, but when he was three, he moved to, to Baldwin County. How important of a role did he play in your life? He was very important in my life because he was uh, probably one one of the people that I loved the most in my life. I even, during high school, I used to go to he, he, my, he, is, he and my grandmother's house for lunch or after school, and um, I'd, I'd be with him at least once or twice a week, even when, even when he was in his 80s and 90s. He was 94 when he died. Is there anything you'd like to add about him? Just that he was a very interesting, interesting person. That, that he had a backwards way of doing, backwards way of doing math. He started the left hand side and go to the right instead of the right hand side going to the left. And he could usually, he he could usually come up with the answer faster than anybody else in the room. And he was a very smart man.